Hello and welcome back. Today in this video I will show you how to socially lock your website content with a social locker. And by social locking I mean if you have a valuable content on your website and you want to hide that from the user and you want to provide them only by subscribing to your YouTube channel by liking your Facebook page or following you on Twitter then you can lock that specific content with a social locker and social locker would lock that content and if someone subscribe to your youtube channel then they will be able to see that content so let's see how this works and basically i already have a video about this topic in which we call facebook twitter and youtube subscription lock but now that plugin has been updated and the method is different so i decided to make a new video about this topic so let's see how we can socially lock our website content now this is a blog post on my website here as you can see i have a piece of code which i want to lock this is the code so let's see how we can lock this and for locking this we will have to install a social locker plugin which is this one content locker pro premium wordpress plugin now this is also available in its free version and the free version will provide you facebook and twitter lock only and if you need subscription lock for your youtube then you will have to buy the pro version and if you want to buy this then i'll provide a link in the description you can click on get it now and uh, then you can put your email and uh, your payment and then you will be able to download this i already have this so you can go to your account you can click on active premium resources and you can download this right here and you will also get an email where you can download this plugin and after you get this plugin then you will just need to upload this to your website you can go to your plugins, add new and then upload your plugin. I am not covering this in this video because that is very simple. Just upload the plugin and once you upload the plugin you will be able to see a new tab called content locker. And here as you can see you can create a new social locker or a sign in locker. And inside sign in locker you will be able to collect emails from the user if you need. You can check them in the leads later on and in this particular video we're going to focus on social locker so let's go to social locker and here you can see many social platforms like facebook twitter twitter followers and youtube subscription and so on and uh, for this video we will only focus on the youtube and we will cover the facebook twitter in the coming videos so let's turn this off The Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus will be available in the free version and all of these are in the pro version. And the names are explanatory as you can see here you can get a Facebook like on your page, a tweet about you, here you will get a Facebook share, YouTube followers and G plus share and so on. So we will write a name for the locker first. So for example, subscription lock and uh, we will go to youtube because we don't need all of these for now and once you click on this you will see this message the youtube button requires google client id and this is the new update that i was talking about here you will need to put your google client id and if you don't have the id then you can click on this so let's open this a new tab and here you will have to put your google client id again if you don't have an id just click on this create a client id and this will take you to the google console and this will also show you the steps that how you can create a google id so let's go to our console i am just opening this a new tab just to keep these things and now i am inside my google console as you can see the first thing you will need is to create a project the project will be associated with your domain so let's create a project. I already have created this one, so I'll just open this. To create a project, just click on this button. Then write a project name, leave this empty and then click on create. This will create a project for you. Let's go back. I already have a project about this website. Now let's go to APIs and uh, here you can click on API and services and go to library. We will need to enable a few APIs. The first one is here as you can see Google Plus API. So let's search for that. This is you can see Google Plus Domain API. So click on this. 
and then click enable and if you scroll down you will see another one which is do the same for youtube data api so we will also enable this api once you enable an api you will see this in the list now let's go back to library we will search for youtube and you will see youtube data api version 3 which is this one so again just enable this and after you enable this the next step is to go to credential create a credential and uh, then we will go to zero auth client id so to get that you can follow in this screenshot or uh, if this is updated then you can just go to credentials click on create credentials then choose this one To create this ID, you must configure your consent screen. So just configure consent screen first. Here you can choose internal and external. We will choose external and we'll click create. Then here you will have to write your app name, your email and a logo if needed. So just write your website domain name. For example, I'll write my website domain name will choose my email I will upload my logo also again application home page so this is my main home page privacy link I'll copy this from my ok I'll write HTTPS also this is my privacy link so i'll copy this from my website the terms and condition and i'll add a domain So I'll add an authorized domain which is my main domain and uh, my email address and then we'll click on save and continue and here you can add or remove scores we don't need this for now we just need to go to save and continue you can add a test user if you need but I don't need this and this is just the summary if you have put anything wrong then you can edit that let's go back to the dashboard now again this is testing so we will publish this before that let's go back to credential create credential and we will click on this and here you can see replication type so we will choose web application because we are doing this for our website web client so just name your credential and an authorized javascript origin and authorized read, redirect urls you can get this from your uh, plugin so let's go back here as you can see authorized javascript origin add the origin your domain.com so i'll write my domain there and uh, the next one is authorized redirect urls so just copy this and paste it here then click on create it may take up to five minutes but this will generate your client id and your client secrets just copy this and paste it over here it needs client id only so let's copy this we'll paste it here and we'll save changes and now let's refresh this you can also drag and drop these like this i'll just go to youtube and we'll turn this on now we don't have that warning message and here i have to write my channel id so to get the id you can go to your advanced settings just click the link in the description here you can find your user id and channel id just copy this and uh, 
paste it right here and you can also click on this this will take you to your advanced settings this is the button title so we will write subscribe and that's it now you can click on publish and here you can go to general tab where you can change the lock title and the text this, so as you can see the title is this continuous lock which is fine if you want to change this you can remove this and write your own text and the same for the locker message please support us use one of the buttons below so i'll write something like please support my channel here you can choose a theme you can check all of these themes this will make our video lengthy just check all the themes and keep the one that you like this is the button layout horizontal or vertical so horizontal is fine and the overlay mode is full classic transparency blurring we will check this later this is just to blur the text transparent or full classic which will lock the content and let's go to visibility here you can hide this for specific members show always relock lock after and lock on mobile so hide for members you can lock this for specific user like log in user and so on. I don't want this so I'll just turn this off. Show always. Even if the locker was unlocked before, it will appear again after the phase reload. So we don't need this because if someone subscribed to our channel, then we don't want to show them the locker again. Lock after. So this is the lock after specific days. If I turn this on, then this I can put some days. I don't want this so I'll just turn this off relock so we don't need this also because we don't want to relock the content this is just for mobile so we want to show this on mobile also and go to advanced here you can choose the close icon time interval and highlight it and unlock you can change the options according to your need here just click on update and now let's see how we can use this locker so here as you can see the manual locking is recommended which is by the short code just copy this and you can put this short code around the text or the code that you want to lock for example let's take this example where we want to lock this code so i'll just edit this first and this is the code that i want to lock so before that i'll put a short code and we'll paste that short code so this is the first part of the short code and this is the second one i'll cut this and uh, let's just duplicate this or you can add a new short code here and paste the remaining part and that's it you just need to put the code or the text that you want to hide between these short codes let's update this now let's see how this looks i'll open this in a cognitive window and here as you can see the social locker this is the title and the description and this is the button this is the first theme you can change the theme according to your need now if i want to access the code i will have to subscribe to the channel let's check this out so i'll click on this and uh, we got this error this is because we haven't published this if sorry for that let's go back to our credential here and uh, let's go to auth constant and here as you can see this is not published so let's publish this and now we have to wait for the verification and once it's done i'll continue this video okay now our website has been verified by google and actually it took a month to be verified and meanwhile i have changed the look of my website so don't get disturbed by this and uh, let's test the same post that we have logged our content on so i'll try my subscription here i'll choose a gmail and it is still showing the unverified warning but this plugin will take some time to get the verification data so let's go to advance and we will click this and uh, we will have to continue this
and now as you can see our HTML code is visible and we have successfully subscribed to the channel and after that we got the content unlocked so this is how you can lock content on your website and uh, again you can use a free version file the facebook twitter and google plus and if you need the youtube subscription facebook share follow share and linkedin share then you can buy the pro version of this plugin so this was how you can lock content on your website with youtube facebook twitter and linkedin I hope you have learned something new in this video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.